At its heart, the ghost of a star. It's a white dwarf. White, hot, small, but unbelievably dense. In the star's dying moments, its atoms fused and squeezed together, making it so dense that just a teaspoon of this white dwarf would weigh one ton. It's a chilling premonition of our sun's fate. Six billion years from now, it'll become a white dwarf. Its death will herald the end of life on Earth. It makes you wonder how many other worlds have been and gone. Stories left untold. Celestial books lost forever. But the greatest story of them all is still to be told. We must go back through time to the very first chapter to tell the story of how the universe began. remains of a dead star, a nebula, the Crab Nebula. We're 6,000 light years from home, deep inside a stellar graveyard. We've learned so much, seen things we'd never have believed possible. Now sights like this, wonders once beyond imagination, we take in our stride. We're ready, ready to face whatever lies ahead, determined to reach the edge of the universe. It looks dead, but maybe this is just the calm after the storm, after a massive explosion, powerful enough to turn a huge star into a cloud of dust and gas, a supernova. must have squeezed the giant star's core down to this. It's just 20 kilometers across, unimaginably dense. One pinhead of this would weigh hundreds, maybe millions of tons. As it shrank, like a figure skater spinning on the spot, arms outstretched, then pulling them in, it began to spin faster. beams of light, energy, radiation, spinning 30 times a second, powering the huge cloud of dust and gas. There's so much radiation here, more even than on the sun. That was easily the deadliest thing we've encountered so far. Once, it would have terrified us. But now we realize that without the dangers, there'd be no wonders. Without the nightmares, there'd be no dreams. Getting a strange sensation. A feeling, as though there's something bad out here. A malevolent presence. The one thing we didn't want to encounter. Impossibly black, blotting out the stars behind it. We are staring into the face of extinction. The remains of a giant star. A black hole. Instead of contracting to a white dwarf or a pulsar, it just kept on going. Shrinking, 
until it got so small it's just a few kilometers across. Far denser than a pulsar and impossible to resist. Stray too close and there's no turning back. Now we know why it's a black hole. Its gravity is so intense, not even light can escape. This asteroid, it's a lump of solid rock, but it's actually stretching, being dragged towards the gaping hole. Inside, there's no matter as we know it. No time, no space. All the rules of physics collapse. asteroid is gone. Truth is, nobody really knows where. We're looking at the limit of human understanding. There could be millions of black holes creeping around our galaxy. More perhaps than all the stars in the sky. But we wouldn't see them until it was too late. Like this star, spiraling disappearing down an invisible plug hole. Who's to say we don't live inside a vast black hole? That the whole universe isn't inside one right now, inside another universe. Think about it for too long and your mind reels. Sometimes it feels like the more we see, the less we know. But we do know our galaxy is more complex and more dangerous than we ever imagined. And we're still in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The vastness of the universe beyond still lies ahead. The wonders, the dangers, the secrets, they're out there. But first, We've got to find a way out of the Milky Way. Seven thousand light years from home. Still deep inside our own galaxy. It's as though we're in a forest thick with trees, each so beautiful, so fascinating. It's impossible to look beyond to see the bigger picture. We have to find a way through, reach the clearing at the galaxy's edge. Only then can we begin to understand where it and we all began. But faced with sights like this, it's hard to leave. A colossal glowing cloud topped by these great towers of dust. The pillars of creation. Like a gateway into the far galaxy. Both pillars studded with tiny protrusions. Embryonic star systems. Each one the size of our solar system. Another monument to nature's astonishing creativity. We have to ignore its captivating beauty its siren song, tear ourselves away in order to carry onwards towards the edge of the galaxy. <laughs> Dazzled by the Milky Way's beauty, we've been blinded to its terrors and strayed into a cosmic minefield. Like an explosion in slow motion, giant clouds of gas are bursting out of this star. A massive star, millions of times brighter than our sun. It's going into meltdown. The fuel that sustains it is running out. The nuclear reactions that power it winding down. We're watching its death throes. 
Eventually, the core will implode. The result, a new black hole. An even bigger, dangerously unstable star. But this one's about to explode. And when a star this big dies, it's a hundred times more violent than a supernova. Somehow we've stumbled into the most violent star death imaginable. A hypernova. cores collapsed. It's becoming a black hole. And that's the shockwave, surging through the star, ripping its outer layers into space. There's lethal radiation everywhere, enough to have a catastrophic effect on any planet unlucky enough to be nearby. When virtually every species on Earth was wiped out 450 million years ago, the culprit may have been one of these. Deadly hypernovas, frozen comets, scorched planets, white dwarfs, red giants, Earth. Tiny drops in a vast pool of white light. Our home galaxy the Milky Way. We want to know where we fit in. Here's our answer. Civilizations past and present. Everyone that's ever lived. The smallest bug, the highest mountain. All of it, invisible. Not even a tiny speck. Our home is a minor planet of an insignificant star. If it disappeared right now, who or what would even notice? And yet, so far we found nowhere else we would rather live. Nowhere we could live. It's only now, far from home, that we're beginning to truly appreciate it. Look at all these stars. Hundreds of thousands of them. Surely one of these, more than one, must be capable of supporting life. Maybe here, in this swarm of stars, the Great Cluster. Back in the 1970s, astronomers sent a message in this direction, detailing the structure of our DNA and our solar system's location. But it's so far from home, the message won't arrive for at least another 25,000 years. We haven't found alien life yet. But neither have we found any reason to believe it isn't out here, somewhere. There's an equation, devised to estimate the number of other advanced civilizations. Crunch the numbers, and the result is shocking. There could be millions of civilizations, just in our own galaxy. Everything we have seen so far is inside the Milky Way. <laughs> 